heading to SeaWorld today to check out the Craft Beer Festival. Some free beer. Being yeah. pass holders, we get a couple of free beers, so that's why we're here. Well, that and to see everything. But. Yeah, we get three free beers each. They're just samplers, but we wanted to take advantage of that and yeah. grab some good grub. Yeah, free beer is always good. And we were pass holders last year, and we never got the Guy Harvey hard pass passes. They had, I mean, the passes we had, they were like kind of like a cardboard type of paper thin type of pass. Today we picked up our guy Harvey Hard Passes, and they're actually nice. They have a good design on them with the penguins, and they actually look pretty, pretty fancy. I like it. I yeah. like it. It was ten dollars. Five dollars a pass. Yeah, and all of that goes to help save the animals. That's right, and we're all about saving them. So let's go and see what good things we can get into. Yep. So this year they are doing a craft beer festival dinner series. If you want to reserve your spot, you have to do this at the underwater grill. And it tells you which days and which beers they have to accompany the food. And we got the pass holder lanyard that has 15 punches instead of 12. You basically get three for free when you're a pass holder. How much were they? I think it was like $64, 69. 69. 69. And we just got one to share. And here for the beer, we got some Floridian Hefeweizen by Funky Buddha, which we've had it before and it's delicious. And then here I got some waffle fries with beef and cheddar braised slider. And over here, we got a quesadilla, which has chicken and cheese, and like an, I don't know what kind of mayo this is, but uh, it looks pretty good. The fries taste just like Chick-fil-A's fries. They're good. Everyone likes Chick-fil-A fries. If you don't, you're crazy. I'm gonna try this slider, and I'm gonna try not to make a mess, but this slider, is huge like this slider is probably the beef itself is probably an inch and a half thick but all in all it's probably three inches thick so it's a big slider so let's see what we got it's good it has like a barbecue aioli sauce on it and then a bite seed pickle mayonnaise which I didn't think I would like but it goes really well on this and it, actually this slider is really good mm. I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these quesadillas took the one with the least amount of mayo on it mm. they both are really good actually I already I'm calling it this is our first booth here today but this is probably gonna be my favorite booth because everything is delicious shoe fly shoe 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 you're not old enough to drink no beer back up it's really good though mm. this thing is jam-packed with some chicken and it has like a real smoky taste and actually the spicy mayonnaise goes good with this too it's definitely gonna be the best booth of the day I feel it all right let me check out this chicken quesadilla and the hamburger and I'm trying to keep the flies away from my drinks because they're just everywhere this is a funk purse fell off the chair damn it my purse fell off the chair and now I'm spilling beer all over myself okay this is the Funky Buddha Hefeweizen. I love Funky Buddha. Um, it's one of my favorite beers, so I know I'm gonna like this. What all does this burger have on it? Beef, cheddar, spicy pickled mayonnaise, and barbecue aioli. It is delicious. That's pretty darn good. The quesadillas are even better. Oh, got cheese in the center. Yeah, I know. Now I'm gonna try the quesadilla. The quesadilla looks good with all that stuff on there. Dave left the stuff for me because he knows I love it. That's really good. And the sour cream that's on there, it's almost mayonnaise. like a, oh, is it mayonnaise? It's almost like a 
don't know. Garlicky aioli type of mayonnaise. It's really good. Spicy kind of. Um, has like a lime flavor. Really good. And we got Icebreaker over there in the distance. It has not opened as of yet, but I think it's going to be a pretty cool roller coaster when it does open. Kind of excited about that. I think we both are. But yeah, coming soon. Icebreaker, new ride, new attraction here at SeaWorld Orlando. We got some sort of a beer. It's called like a wild thing sour or something. Looks good. Cool, I like that. You may not like it. It's kind of fruity. Mmm, I like that. It's good. It's really cold. Yeah, and it has like a like a real hint of like a cherry, to me a cherry flavor when you first sip it. Almost like a sour cherry. It's good. So everything that we're eating and drinking today, I'll put a description down below. Because we just get what looks good to us. And we don't remember exactly what they're called and exactly what's in it. So I'll put descriptions of everything in the video. Well, I chose to get macaroni and cheese. I, I picked the healthiest thing on the menu like I always do. I got the macaroni and cheese topped with brisket, scallions, and barbecue sauce. And it looks amazing. And they gave, it's a whole bowl. I may have told y'all a story because the last booth I said probably was gonna be the best thing I've eaten all day, and so far this is. The brisket is excellent. The macaroni and cheese is delicious. It, it's good, it's a lot of food. Mm, you are not wrong, my love. That's delicious. It is good. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and show them your shrimp. This is the beer battered popcorn shrimp. Let me get one on this for to show you. That's good too. Um, it's a little bit, has a little bit of spice from this sauce that they put on it. Looks like a like a red pepper. It's a honey honey sriracha. Honey sauce. sriracha sauce. So it's a, it's a little spicy, which I like spicy, but it's not overly spicy. And we got this food from Booth Ten, the Kraft Heinz booth. Mm -hmm. So mark that on your list if you come out here and you want some good food. Booth Ten, Kraft Heinz booth. I only want one. Yeah, but you try it. Because I really don't like sriracha. Tell tell the people what you like. Or what you think. Mm. You like it. Mm -hmm. It's, it's good. good. The batter is really light. Has a lot of flavor. Has a nice little crunch before you get into the shrimp. And it tastes good. I'm just not a big fan of sriracha. But it is delicious. Really good. I'm talented. From Booth 11 Cigar City Snacks, we got the Old Bay Steamed Ponds and the short rib. And I don't know what kind of beer we got. They picked it out. Frost proof wheat ale. And it's looking like it's gonna storm here soon, so we might be ducking for cover. We are underneath some cover right now, so that's, that's good. Let's see what this beer tastes like. It's good, it's like a wintry beer. Wintry beer? <clears throat> what is a, what makes a wintry beer? The wheat. It reminds me of a blue moon, kind of, but just not as citrusy. Mm -hmm. Good. And this short rib is short rib with cheddar, onions, and mashed potatoes. And it looks pretty good. Let's see how it tastes. It's good. Really good. I'm not going to eat a lot of the potatoes, though. There's a lot of potatoes just because I got done eating a lot of macaroni and cheese. My only complaint is that it's not, temperature-wise, it's not hot. It's good, it's just not hot. I'll go ahead and get you some. I like the fried crispy onions they put on top. Mmm, so good though. Mmm, that is good. That tastes like some good old pot roast that your mom has simmered in the crock pot all day, making the house smell so good. Mmm, that's comfort wrapped up in a little Cardboard bowl. Mm hmm. You can have more of it. It's good. The potatoes are really good. They're nice and buttery, creamy, perfectly seasoned. Everything so far today has been perfectly seasoned. Like, yeah, everything's been good. Mm hmm. And these shrimp to... are huge. They squirt some lemon. It's got on lemon, there. tartar sauce, and it looks like Old Bay. I love some Old Bay. I'll put Old Bay on popcorn if you let me. I like it on corn. Y'all haven't had Old Bay on corn? Try it, it's life-changing, I promise. Yes. 
butter it up and <clears throat> sprinkle some Old Bay on there. It's life changing. Mm. These shrimp are huge. That's delicious. See, I probably won't eat it because they put a ton of tartar sauce on the shrimp. And tartar, yes. You'll like it. Tartar sauce is disgusting. Mm -mm. Just, you, just, you have to try it. Everything I've made you try lately, you like. So you have to try it. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> Getting shrimp juice all over me. I came into SeaWorld smelling good. I'm gonna come out leaving like smelling like a shrimp. <laughs> you gotta get the meat in them in the, the little shell thing. I didn't get it on my shirt, did I? No. I wonder if we can, should hang out here for no. a while to see if this. I'm gonna give you guys an idea, a comparison. This cup is a seven ounce beer. I'm just trying to give you an idea how big this shrimp is compared to this beer. Shrimp's big. What do you think? It's good minus the tartar sauce. Mm. On to the next booth. Germany and Disney, the Hefeweizen is, is better. And then we got Tito's, what's this, Blackberry Peach? Yeah, Blackberry Peach Punch. That's good. Got me an edible straw, I'm gonna put it in here. That is good. I don't taste much alcohol, which is a good thing, because I don't like it when it's really strong. That is really grapefruity. The Disney grapefruit beer is better in Epcot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, it, it's very, if you like grapefruit, you'll like that because, I mean, it really tastes like. Um, well, it's an IPA, too, so it's going to be stronger. Yeah, but, I mean, it, it tastes like you just really cracked up in a grapefruit and ate it because grapefruit's really sour if you don't put sugar on it. It tastes like a fresh grapefruit to me. I'm going to eat some of my edible straw. What's it taste like? It's not bad, actually. What's it taste like? Chocolate? It tastes like those candy straws that you used to get back in the day. Want to taste it? No. It's good. It tastes like paper. Mm-mm. That's kind of like a wine flavor. I like it. It's supposed to start raining here in a minute, so we are going to check out the base station wild arctic arctic base station wild arctic and go see the beluga whale and some other cool stuff yeah check out some sea mammals still have half a card left so it really is a good deal $69 for the card and you get 15 punches and pretty much each item that we ate was anywhere between like six and nine dollars so if you do the math even at six dollars on 15 I mean that's 90 bucks so and yeah. that's if you buy the cheapest thing at each booth but 
Yeah, so it was definitely worth it. The card yeah. is definitely worth it. And everything was really good. It was. I don't think I had anything bad. I thought the first booth was going to be my favorite, but every other booth came on strong and I enjoyed every bit of it. Like everything. I did not try anything that was horrible. Yeah, me either. They don't have a lot of food at this festival and that's because it is a craft beer festival. So the focus is on beer. Which is not a bad thing. I'm no. just full yeah. from food and beer. Yeah. Like always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And hit that bell and share the video. Sharing is caring. Yes. And we will see you guys in the next one. Yep. Bye.